Hey guys, this is Pseudo Sphere. I'm going to make a short video about how to do the Juggernaut in Global Agenda. Um, as you can see right now, I am right here on the Northern Sonora, and the Juggernaut will be up here. Um, um, let's see. So basically, um, I am going to. Uh, we're gonna set. We're gonna have a robo and an assault. You can do this with uh, two robos, or a robo and a recon. Um, doesn't really matter. Uh, just you need a robo um, to. That's what makes it super easy. I've seen some videos, um, and it's just nobody has an easy way to do it. I mean, it's, it's doable, um, but I often find it stressful because if you don't kill the repair drones, which you'll see in a second if you don't know what I'm talking about. Um, if you don't bring the repair drones, then you need... Um, then he gets repaired and uh, you know, all your work is lost and you basically are starting over again. So, the biggest part about this is that um, you want to kill the repair drones. That's the hardest part. Because there's ways to bug it. Um, so this shield just makes me immune to damage, that's all. Um, <laughs> that's all. Uh, range damage, which I'm just going to use real quick right here. And if I stand right here, he just, um, he just shoots at me and he can't hit me through the wall. But I can shoot at him, so you'll see a little, uh, pointing. Uh, you'll see little damage numbers showing up there. Um, I won't be using this gun to kill him, that'll take forever. Um, but what I am going to do is I'm going to just remove all of these... Um, so that you can see, I am just, like, I am using nothing. I am putting points in the destroyer just so that it goes faster, and energy. Um, here, put that up for a little bit longer so you can see it. Alright, so now basically he puts a robo, uh, turret right there, and that turret can't hit the juggernaut. So what's going to do, it's going to target all the drones, and then all I have to do is right click, charge it up, and shoot. And at this point, you're basically AFK. I just, I'm just holding my right trigger down, or my right, I'm just right clicking. Um, it's not doing a ton of damage yet, but as soon as this last room dies, um, it's just gonna die in no time. So, yeah, um, super easy way to kill the Juggernaut. Um, and he's got a pretty quick respawn time, and you're right next to the respawn, so you've got a. You got plenty of time. I mean, if you ever tried to go in by yourself, it's hard. Um, it's doable, but it's hard and it, it can be stressful. So this is like this is super easy. So just thought I'd make a video of it, show you guys, and I'll just stop talking until we kill it. And then maybe we'll kill another one or two, um, just to show you how often it's easy. Um, you have to remake the turret each time because uh, when he comes in from the side he tries to kill it but otherwise super easy Um, so there's two reasons you want to kill the Juggernaut. Um, well, there's a couple reasons you don't want to kill the Juggernaut. One, or not that you don't want to, but not reasons to kill it. It's not a mission. You don't need to kill it ever. Um, it doesn't give great drops for how long it takes to kill it. But in this case, you can see it's actually not too long, but um, normally the amount of work required is a lot higher. Um, <laughs> for 
pair of drones giving each other little hugs. Um, but uh, reasons to kill it, it gives uh, high level drops so you can make uh, higher modifications and stuff. Um, reasons not to kill it, or not, uh, another reason to kill it is that every once in a while it will jug, drop a juggernaut helmet, which is pretty cool looking, and I haven't gotten it yet, so I'm still into farming them. Um, as far as the robo is concerned, you need the personal turret. You need that one because that's got the most range, and it's going to hit, um, it's, it doesn't, or not the most range, the most angle of fire, which is going to give you the easiest um, easiest time. And then you're going to need um, a power station is nice, just because then you don't have to stop shooting. But after that, you can take whatever you want. You don't even need a med station for this because uh, I'm not taking any damage. So, um, so yeah, your third station is whatever you want to do more damage. So in this case, it's a sensor tower, which works great. Um, so. And I'm doing this with uh, Saints No More. He's a pretty cool uh, co-leader of the Friends Agency, which is a pretty sweet agency. do not really do anything serious. It's all just kind of for fun. So you'll see he comes in from the side there and kills a turret, which is it's kind of mean, but um, but it's okay. Because then I'll just shoot him, and then he'll walk right up to where he was before. And then I'll just start shooting him and he'll put his turret back there. And since he's uh, he's got aggro on me, um, he can stick his turret up there in perfect safety and then just, um, yeah, you can just kill it. I guess another thing to note, the corner there, I'll shoot at it for a second, this corner right here, that's what's blocking, that's what's blocking the turret from shooting the Juggernaut. So you want that in the way. You do not want the turret shooting the Juggernaut because the repair drones can out damage um, any damage you can put on it. There's just so much, so much repairing to do. Um, so yeah, you can kill the repair drones if you want, but I mean, since you've got that turret to do it, it's not a, it's, it's not stressful at all. Which is what's normally stressful about the juggernaut is that the repair drones just come and undo all your work. So unless I think of something else, I'll just keep quiet until we. Uh, so we finish this up. I'll probably kill one more after this and then that'll be done. So. And you can do this at any at any level. This guy's not even level 30, he's level 29 right now. Um, so yeah. I mean, not hard. But yeah, if you were doing it with a robo, um, I'm talking again. Uh, if you were doing it with a robo, you could put the turret just a little bit farther in front from where I am, so maybe like up here, um, and then the turret will shoot him, um, and that'll work just fine. Um, so you can do it with two robos, just kind of heal the turrets, and then boom, AFK kill it, basically. Um, and then uh, with a recon, you just want him standing here so that he doesn't move. Because you want him to stay in that position so that the turret can really kill any drones that come up. In this case, we're not even we're not even getting to drone respawns. We're killing <laughs> killing it before the drone respawns. three things. No, that's not what I got. Was it all this? Ah, uh, X8. Yep. 
Um, and just I guess another double check, you can see we're right up in the top, right up here. That's just for the Juggernaut signs, like right here. So, um, and then this is where the big Counter Strike mission is that everybody's always scared to do, but. If you practice it, it's really not that hard. I'll probably make some videos about how to do the, some of those easily. I know they're out there, but uh, I'll put them in one place so I can recommend people to one, one channel. My channel, of course. See this guy. Anything but CI. This is just a typo. I meant CS. Uh, it's a mission that a lot of people don't like to do, but I love to do it. It's one of my favorite missions to do. Um, it's just super easy. I mean, not super easy, but it's it's fun because it it's a little bit of a challenge, but um, there's tips and tricks to finish it without too much hassle. Um, to give you some perspective, oh, see, so that's that's a situation where you put it too far forward, so it's killing the juggernaut. In this case, it's not horrible because there's a drone, but he's going to need to replace it so that you can kill the drones. Because, um, yeah, see, if you look at this, they're moving around so much, and they, they don't take that much damage. Like, it's really a pain. So. Oh, no. So that's something that can go wrong, but you can see even there, um, neither of us took damage. We're both perfectly okay. We'll just reset and we'll be good. Yep, and there's a good one. And you just wait. Um, normally you'd run out of energy shooting this long as a as a as a hole, but since you put a power station down, it's uh just adding more energy than I am using, so I have, I can shoot forever, which doesn't really make sense to me. Um, on a on the smaller gun, you can see little uh, bullet shells flying out the side of the gun, but does that mean that we create bullets out of energy? Like, <laughs> that seems pretty good. We're not like shooting energy bolts, we're actually shooting bullets that were created by energy apparently, so. Yeah, you can, again, you can see the only thing I didn't take off was my heel, um, which you can't take off. Every character just has that. It's just part of their, um, it just heals you to full health in like a few seconds and then... even write a program to just have me uh, right click. I, I could write a program for that, but it wouldn't be that useful because you need to place the turret. Alright, so that is uh, three juggernauts for you there. Easy, stress free. Um, give some pretty decent, uh, pretty decent farm, and, um, yeah, so I'm gonna sign off for now. Thank you to Saints No More for, uh, being a great, uh, 
partner for this. And um, see you guys next time.